And here are the starters for race eight. The horses are on the track for the fourth division for two-year-old trotting Colts. Number one, Source of Oz, owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Springfield, trained by Jerry Logan, the driver Dave McGee. Two, Dark Moon Rising, owned by Jim and Bambi Fox of Paducah, Kentucky, trained by Jim Fox, the driver Connell Willis. Number three, Isle Again, owned by Nate Scholler of Mayfield, Kentucky, trained by Candy Schooley, Neil Coleman in the bike. Four, Life's a Holiday, owned by Homer and Jay Hochstetler of Crete, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. Number five, Payday, owned by Duke Johnston, Lester McKeever, and Phil Langley, trained by Jim Eaton. Eric Ledford is up. Number six, Fox Valley Illusion, owned by John Bootenshane and J.P. Crowley of Marengo and Chicago, trained by John Bootenshane, the driver Brent Holland. Scratch the seven, KB Yankee. And finally, number eight is Millersburg, owned by Cheryl Clough of Carrollton, trained by Tom Simmons, and Tom Simmons is in the bike. Post time for today's eighth race in four minutes. Number one, Source of Oz, a full brother to the former Illinois Horse of the Year, Source Ann. They're an eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Fox Valley Illusion is off stride. There goes Isle again for the lead with Source of Oz right toward the inside. And Life's a Holiday gets away trotting third out in the center of the racetrack. Source of Oz gets the lead, but he's off stride. Source of Oz, the odds-on favorite, is on a break in the first turn. And he drops way out to the back of the field, so he's got his work cut out for him. Life's a Holiday goes to the lead, meanwhile, by a length and a half. Isle again goes second, followed by Payday in third at 29 seconds for the opening quarter. Dark Moon Rising is fourth. Millersburg is trotting in fifth. Source of Oz is sixth. He is 12 lengths off the lead, but beginning to catch the field, and it's a long way back to Fox Valley Illusion, who trails down the back stretch. Life's a Holiday leads it by two lengths. Isle again trots second on the inside, and Source of Oz is closing ground stoutly. He's in the outside lane. He's gone from sixth to fourth to third and he is trotting fast. Source of Oz off the half in a minute three fifths. All of a sudden he's up alongside Life's a Holiday and Source of Oz puts a neck in front at the entry to the far turn. Life's a Holiday is still there and now responds to the challenge on the inside and he regains the lead. Source of Oz backs away in second. Looks like McGee is going to give him a well-deserved breather at the three quarters. Isle again is five lengths off the lead but dropping back as Payday goes to third. Dark Moon Rising is 10 lengths off the lead. They got the three quarters in 129 and four. Life's a Holiday opens up by seven lengths now. Payday goes to second. Source of Oz got rough gated again off the turn. He's third, followed by Isle again. And Life's a Holiday has taken every challenge they've thrown at him. Source of Oz on another break. Payday is second. Isle again third, then Dark Moon Rising. But Life's a Holiday trots on home to win it. Life's a Holiday by three and a half. And then it was Payday second. Isle again drifted way wide, appeared to get third over Dark Moon Rising, but that was close. The time for the mile in 159. Into the winner's circle for the eighth race, the unofficial winner, Life's a Holiday, Homer Hochstetler. Life's a Holiday, a two-year-old Primrose Lane, owned by Homer Hochstetler and his son, Jay, of Crete, Illinois, bred by Homer's wife, Connie. 159 is by four-fifths of a second the fastest of the four eliminations. And as Homer and Connie Hochstetler work their way back toward the paddock area, we're going to try to grab either Homer or Connie real quick. Homer, first of all, 159, the fastest elimination. How about it? Did he do everything just like he wanted? Well, he behaved. That's the most important thing. <laughs> and we know you're busy, so we'll let you get back to take care of him. How do you like your chances in the final next week? Uh, I'd hate to speculate. If I draw good and I behave, I'll probably be okay. If he draws good, if the Colt behaves, he should be okay. Homer, thanks and congratulations. That's Homer Hochstetler. He's the winning driver. <laughs>